all these programs so far we have hard assigned the values inside the program right but uh, let's say if we want to give it um, by the user on the runtime that would be more uh, more easy or more relevant or more generic so let's say how to do that someone here I have hard assigned these two values I will comment it out these two lines and then we'll give new set of lines which is set a as get gets stdin gets it's for taking a value from where it has to take it has to take from the standard input that is nothing but our console and it will assign to a variable similarly I will give set b and gets stdin now how the user will get to know what value has to be entered I will give a puts a statement enter the first value in variable a here also puts enter the second value in variable b and rest of the program will remain same close it and then let's execute it it's asking me the prompt has stopped and it is asking me to enter the value in variable a and let's say 56 now it is asking me to enter the second value and let's say that is 74 the sum of 56 and 74 is 130 I will re-execute it and I will give a different value let's say 1 2 3 4 and 5 6 7 8 these are the two numbers so sum of 1 2 3 4 and 5 6 7 8 is 6 9 1 2 so this is how I can repetitively use it similarly we'll see the second program where we have a list of numbers hard assigned inside the program if I want to make it user generic so that user can give it on runtime I will give set a list of numbers space gets space stdin and will give a message here that puts enter the list of or this is of uh, two numbers enter the two numbers separated by space because by space only it will be able to understand these are two different numbers done and then when I will execute this some two article it will ask it is asking me for two numbers let's say I give 35 space 72 enter the first value in the list is 35 the second value in the list is 72 the sum of 35 and 72 is 9107 again if I will execute it will give 1 2 3 4 space 5 6 7 8 the first number is 1 2 3 4 second is 5 6 7 8 sum is 6 9 1 2 similarly let's see how the modification will be for the third program here we have n numbers in the list so I will just comment it out we'll give a puts statement and then we'll set this list and we'll give control to the standard input stdin then message would be enter the numbers in the list separated by space here we are not controlling the count so let the user define it on runtime and give it we'll execute the sum 3 article now we can write 1 2 3 4 12 34 56 78 1 2 3 all these numbers i have done the sum of all these numbers is 313 I can re re reuse this program and I will give some other numbers now 98765 space 123 4 5 6 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 these are the four numbers which I give and this is the summation so this is how the program can be tuned to standard input so that it will be generic user do not need to go inside the program and update it then we'll discuss the fourth program how that can be automated here also we have take given this numbers here now what i can do is i can do 
set a and do a gets std in and set b gets std in and instead of numbers i can just give dollar a space dollar b and so here also dollar a space dollar b and here would be the message actually this will not be a and b uh, it will be c and d if i am using twice the same function so i will just copy this line and paste it and make it uh, c and d and uh, what else no other changes required done yeah if you want to give you can give a print statement for the user to understand and 34 values in sequence separated by enter key because we are not giving in the list we'll execute it now some four dot tickle now i need to give let's say first value 34 and let's say 76 as the second value 1 2 3 4 as the first value for second summation and 5 6 7 8 for second value so it is happy it is using a as 34 b as 76 c as 1 2 3 4 d as 5 6 7 8 and these are the summations respectively so we have made all these four programs user friendly or user generic so that user can change the inputs on the runtime no need to go inside the program